Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. This one, we're in chat LLM Teams, and today I'm gonna to show you their integration of Gemini 2.0 Flash, or Gemini Native. And you guessed it, it is fantastic. Gemini 2.0 is brand new. It's been blowing up on Twitter, across the blog world, and it has so much going for it. Couple quick points, character consistency across entire stories. It renders text properly. It understands the real world, recipes, places, concepts and it can edit images conversationally through multiple iterations and that's just a quick peek at what it can do i'm going to show you that and i'm also going to show you their brand new functionality which is in painting so not only can it generate images you can edit them in the app you don't have to do any app switching this is the best ai image generation app on the market probably the best ai app on the market and i'm going to show it to you let's go all right so here we are we're logged into chat llm teams let's get cooking the first thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to click this little down arrow and i want to quickly show you that while we're going to focus on ai image generation you also get access to all the best large language models DeepSeek, o3 mini high gpt4 omni o1 etc they're all in here and if you go down here, you also get access to AI video generation. Everything you can imagine is in this tool. That said, we're going to do images. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click on image. And when I do that here, you're going to see I get a few options. I'm going to click this little toggle here and look at this here. We get access to all of these AI image models. This is bonkers. Flux One Pro, Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra, Imogen, Dolly, Recraft. Ideogram 2A, Magnific Upscaler. This is an incredible piece of technology. I'll cover that in a future video. The best flux ones, and now, of course, Gemini Native Edit. That's the one we're looking for. Let's select it here. Now, keep in mind that this is brand new. This is right out of the box, like it just came out a couple days ago. The API was made available here. So while it works, it's only going to improve over time. Here we go. We can go ahead and select an image to edit. I'm going to go ahead and do that because I love my dog and I like doing dog videos. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and click on upload and I'm going to select an image of my dog Kingston. So we're going to make a image or we're going to create a prompt based around my bulldog. And then here we go. Edit prompt. So here we go. Let's add in a prompt. French bulldog as a knight in a castle and he has blue eyes and yeah let's just go with something like that i'm just having some fun here i'm just riffing with it of course you can type in anything you want here and look at that here here we go generating image it's gone ahead and started cooking i'm going to come back when it's done then i'm going to show you the next steps all right welcome back so here we go we've got a french bulldog as a knight in a castle and he has blue eyes using gemini 2.0 flash and here we go look at that here okay we've got a french bulldog yeah it looks exactly like my dog kingston exactly like the image i put in there i'll put that in in post-production and there we go we got this cool little knight heraldry here that's carrying a sword i love it now you'll notice here that it's gone with a little bit of a uh, not cartoonish but it didn't go for the photorealistic style and that's by design because my prompt was a little vague here i didn't say hey make it in this style so this is fantastic but we can go a step further we can edit this now so watch this here now if i don't like it or if i want to make changes watch this here i can click on this little regenerate image button and it will go ahead and do that right here you can also click here and edit the image but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to click on the image it's going to load it in profile here on the right side and then look at this here, we've got some options, but the one I'm gonna do here is this brush edit image. And then you'll see here that it's gonna allow us to do some in painting. Now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. Well, actually, maybe that's too far in. And I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the size of the brush. Now, if I was doing this for production, I would be super careful about this. In fact, I'd be using my iPad and my Apple Pencil. But I'm just gonna do this to quickly show you what you can do here. I'm just gonna brush in the left eye. And then I'm going to brush in the right eye. Well, right eye and left eye, depending on how you're looking at it here. So there we go. I've gone ahead and selected the eyes. Now, let's say I don't want blue eyes. Maybe I want to change them to green eyes. Something like that. I can go ahead and then just click on the go button here. And watch this. It's going to generate the image. It's going to change it to green. I'm going to come back when it's done, show you what we got. And then I'm going to show you a few other really cool things while I got you. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got for green eyes. Well, they did it, and it did it perfectly in one shot here. Here we go. So on the right side here, you'll see we got the blue-eyed puppy. And on the left side, we've got the green eyes. All you need to do, just click on the image with the green eyes, 
and bam, the eyes are swapped out. The in-painting works perfectly. It got it right on the first crack. You zoom in here. That is a very noble looking puppy dog night that is fantastic guys this is of course in chat llm teams created by the team at abacus ai they are constantly making their tool their platform the best of the best it has everything images video coding i mean you name it the large language models all the best ones they're all in one app. It's multimodal. It's fantastic. I've put a link in the description below. Let me know what you think of this video. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.